Hello friends, welcome to Green Peach YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Let's have a look into band shaped keratopathy. Band Band shaped keratopathy is the hyaline infiltration into the superficial stroma of the cornea. We will look into the layers of cornea. The outermost layer is the epithelium, below which we can see the Bowman's membrane. Between the Bowman's membrane and the disseminate membrane, we can see the stroma. The innermost layer of the cornea is the endothelium. Calcium mineral ions get deposited along with this hyaline infiltration in the superficial stroma of cornea. This band-shaped keratopathy is common in chronic uveitis patient. It is also seen in hyperparathyroidism, sarcoidosis and vitamin D toxicity. It's an example of metastatic calcification. Chelating agent used for the treatment of band-shaped keratopathy is topical disodium EDTA. Let's have a look into other mineral ions that get deposited in the eye. First we will look into ion deposition. Ion deposition in the normal aging is presented as Hudson star line. Ion deposition is also seen in pathological conditions like keratoconus where it is presented as flasher ring and it is also seen in pterygium where it is presented as stocks line. Copper deposition in the eye is seen in Wilson disease. It is presented as Kaiser Flesher ring, KF ring. Pigment deposition in the corneal endothelium is called as Krukenberg spindle. Thank you very much. Please answer this question. Which among the following is deposited in band shaped keratopathy? Option A iron. Option B calcium, option C copper, option D pigments. Yeah, that's it guys.